Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to God in the Midst Radio. Get them radio. The Friday Night Lights edition. Hallelujah. I am your co-host, Pastor Mark McCoy, along with my co-host, Pastor Paul McCoy. Tonight, tonight, we're, we're getting ready to get into God's word. Uh, we are just so happy. I, I, I'm going to start off this broadcast on Facebook like I did on the broadcast uh, uh, on the background, this is the day, yes it is, that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is a day we've never seen before and a day we'll never see again. And as always, we believe it is the, a day to praise the Lord. And I just, I just got this praise thing going today, y'all. Hallelujah. Yes, glory to his name. Because I got something to praise him for. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for being God and being God all by yourself. Lord, we lift you up this day and give you all the glory and all of the honor, Lord, because you're so worthy of the praise. Thank you, Lord, for, for giving us a mind that we can worship you. Thank you, Lord, for giving us lips that we can praise you. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a heart that we can love you and love your people and love this world, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving us of all of our sins and all of our shortcomings, Lord. We make mistakes all the time, God, but, but you're the one in control, ready to forgive us, never wanting to condemn us. Lord, we thank you this day because Jesus died on the cross for our sins and you raised him from the dead and he lives and we know he lives within our hearts so because of that we can say i'm free praise the lord i'm free thank you lord now we just ask you lord let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart oh god be acceptable in thy sight my rock and my redeemer. We pray, pray right now for excellence of speech, Lord. We pray right now for no error, Lord. We pray to Heavenly Father that the devil gets no glory in this. Matter of fact, we want him under our feet the Heavenly Father, and made to feel ashamed for even trying. Thank you, God, right now in the name of Jesus. And by the power of your Holy Spirit, anoint us afresh that we might hear your word and not only hear your word, but be doers of your word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Glory, hallelujah. If you will, if you will, turn with me to John chapter 6. John chapter 6. Turn with me to John chapter 6. And we're going to start at the 66th verse. John chapter 6, starting at the 66th verse. And it says, from the New King James Version of the Bible, from that time, many of his disciples went back and walk no more with him. Then, said Jesus unto the twelve, will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus answered them, have I not chose you 12 and one of you is a devil? He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he was that, for he, for, for he it was that should betray 
him being one of the 12. Oh, hallelujah. The tag, the tag we want to place on this text is, I'm going all the way. I'm going all the way. I want you to get that in your spirit. I'm going all the way. This text, this text raises a question that I will talk about here in a minute. But I just want us to get this in our spirit. I'm going all the way. I must admit, when I was a child, I, a I, little boy, I, I had occasions where, where I, I, I just, I just, you know, I wanted to run away. I wanted to get away. I had good parents, good mama, good father, good sisters and brothers. I, but still, the, the rebelliousness in me wanted to run away. I remember when I learned how to read in the fifth grade, uh, uh, I read about Tom Sawyer and Hunk Finn. I saw the movie and, and I wanted to have those adventures. Did all of that kind of stuff. Well, tonight we, 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 we find an event in our text that, that took place following one of the most spectacular miracles Jesus ever worked during his life here on earth. He fed the multitude, 5,000 men including women and children with five high hole crackers and a can of sardines. <laughs> Hallelujah. How excited they were to watch such a small amount feed so many people and then have 12 baskets of leftovers. What a miracle. But Jesus, Jesus is not just a miracle worker. He is the son of God. He, he came to deliver a message of hope to the hopeless world. Unfortunately, just as, 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 as it is today, not everyone would receive the message. Oh, hallelujah. They, they didn't want to hear this message. They didn't want to hear what Jesus had to say. Many would turn their back on him and refuse to follow him. They had followed the Lord for a while because they thought he was a bread maker. Yeah, see, he is the living bread, but, but they thought he was the bread maker and they could always go to him to, to get bread. They wanted to see him make miracles over and over again. But as he began to preach the word and, and the word of God began to convict them, they began to walk away. Jesus said something to them. And if you go back and, and look at, uh, 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 let's look at, uh, let's see where I want to go. Let's go to uh, verse 47 in chapter 6. He says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me have everlasting life. He says, I, I am the bread of life. Your father did eat manna in the wilderness and, and, and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man might eat it thereof and not die. I am, he said, the living bread which came down from heaven. And if any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh. Uh-oh, there you go. Talking about his flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Jesus, therefore, stove among themselves. The Jews, they, they, they grumbled among themselves. How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except you eat of the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whosoever 
eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood has eternal life and I will raise him up at the last day. Man, when Jesus broke that thing off like that, it messed them up. They was like, uh-uh, we ain't eating his flesh. What he talking about? And so, those that were following him, after they heard these things, verse 66 says, this is a hard saying. They said, who can understand? And when Jesus knew that, that his disciples were complaining about this, he said to them, check out this question. Does this offend you? What then? If you see the son of man ascending where he was before, is it the spirit who gives life? The flesh. It is the spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. So Jesus wasn't talking about them eating his flesh. He wasn't talking about them literally eating his flesh and drinking his blood. We know we, we do communion and it symbolizes us uh, uh, breaking the bread that represents his body. It symbolizes us drinking the cup of juice or wine that represents his blood. But that's that's what it does. It's symbolic. But what Jesus was saying here, he's going to give his flesh. And if you trust him, if you believe in him, if you accept him, yeah, he'll take care of you. This message he gave did not go over. Well, it did not go over well at all. They, they didn't like what he was saying. Men want to think they can do something to, it, to become acceptable with Jesus Christ. He says in verse 63, it is the spirit. This is spiritual and the flesh profits nothing. His words are spiritual. And they are life. People in the crowd, when they heard it, they, they, they was outdone. Because many folks want to work for the Lord. I'm going to say that again. Many folks just want to work for the Lord. But to be the Lord, the only work you need to do is to believe. Let's look at verse, look at look, look at these verses. Look at these verses. Let's let's look at them so you can understand exactly what I'm saying. He says, he says, but Peter, Peter, in verse, let me make sure I've got my places right. Okay, I, I, let's go back to verse 64. He says, but these, but there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were and who did not believe and would betray him. And he said, therefore, I have said to you that no one can come to me unless it has been granted by my father. I'm like, whoa. I remember when I first read that scripture in uh, February of 1991. In Bible, I said, wait a minute. You saying that I can't come to Jesus unless God does something? I can't give him my faith? I can't choose him unless God does something? Yes. God sent Jesus down the cross and then raised him from the dead. So now we can have forgiveness of our sins. But we have to have faith. In his DBR, his death, his burial, and his resurrection. And the place to get faith. Somebody say, teach boy. The fat place to get faith tonight is from the Lord. If the Lord don't give you faith to believe in Jesus' DBR, death, burial, and resurrection, you'll never get it. But thanks be to God that, that God desires that all might be saved. He cares for us and he's provided 
time after time, the word of God to increase our faith. He makes the sun to shine. He makes the moon and the stars stand in the night. He gives us rain. He gives us abundance. He let it rain on the just as well as the unjust so that they all might believe. And he gives each of us that measure of faith. But so many of us refuse that measure of faith. And so, Jesus laid it out. God, God got to grant this faith to you. God got to give you this. If you grab a hold of what God is trying to give you, You'll be all right. The message Bible says, this is why I told you earlier that no one is capable of coming to me on his own. You get to me only as a gift from the father. Oh, hallelujah. And so he goes on and he says in verse 67, he says, this Jesus, then Jesus said to the 12, do you also want to go away? Oh, hallelujah. That's a question for us today. You want to give up on Jesus? You want to walk away? You can't do the hard things that Jesus is telling you to do. You can't go through the suffering and the trials and the tribulations and the tests. You can't deal with any of this. You, you won't, you won't out. That's what he's saying to his disciples. And then he says, Peter, Simon Peter answered him and said, Lord, to whom shall we go? That's the question tonight. We should be asking, whom to whom Shall we go? There's really nowhere else to turn. There's no one who can take Jesus' place. To whom shall we go? You, 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 you have the words of eternal life. Where else can we go? Jesus is the one to whom we can go. When we, when we have our problems in life, we can go to Jesus. I don't know if you ever stood in the grocery store and you see all of these magazines that, that have all this pop psychology to tell you how to live your life like you can buy an answer on how to live your life for $2.95. You turn on the TV and the radio. I was at the barber shop today looking at uh, Mari Provick and all of them and, 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 and all of these personalities going around trying to tell you how to live your life. And you doing wrong and trying to make it right. You got therapists and psychotherapists and analysts they, they, and psychologists, they're giving us pills and racking up these office hours, but still, we are people who are plagued with problems. We need someone to go to with our problems. To whom shall we go? You remember the old commercial, how do you spell relief? R-E-I-E-F? No. It's spelled J E S U S because Jesus gives us relief. He's with us every step of the way. Yeah, we might be going through a storm, but he's right there with us. And even in this sixth chapter, Jesus we had to walk on water to get to his disciples in this sixth chapter. And he was with them in the storm. And I'm saying to us, when we got problems, he's with us in the storms. To whom shall we go? With our fears. Many people spend every moment of their lives in constant fear. 
scared, wary, all of that stuff. If you Google phobias, you'll find it's over 530 different fears. Everything from fear of taking a bath to fear of animals. Every imaginable thing in between. Regardless of the fears, the only answer is to find peace. But peace comes from knowing the Lord. Isaiah said in, in, in Isaiah 26 verse 3, he says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on Jesus because he trusts or trusts in him. Oh, hallelujah. It don't say Jesus says on thee, God, but I'm using Jesus because we trust in Jesus. Jesus said over in John chapter 14, verse 27, peace I give unto you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So to whom do we go when we are facing death? Oh, the scripture is clear. All of us going to have to face death one day. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 says, As it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. So, so when we're facing the death of a loved one, we can see comfort, but no one on this earth can supply what we need. We need Jesus. Even when we're surrounded by a crowd of loved ones and friends, we find ourselves feeling alone. Family often grows frantic when, when, when they come face to face with the death of a loved one. But, but we want some assurance whether or not we will ever see that loved one again. Many people run around. We want to know that heaven is real. Who do you go to? You got to go to Jesus. Even when we're facing our own mortality, when we're facing our own death, we can still go to Jesus. And we can't rely upon any other person's opinions and thoughts. Nor can we trust in the statements of those who have never faced death. But Jesus did. And God raised him up. And so all we need to trust in him and have that blessed assurance that Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Because when we go through looking at our own mortality, sometimes our mind is overflowing with doubts and questions. But, but I'm here to tell you, you got somewhere to go. Jesus is the answer. He's the one who conquered death, hell, and the grave. He's the one who was dead but is now alive forevermore. He's the solution to our problem. He gives us peace in the midst of our fears. He gives us blessed assurance that eternity is ours. I don't know about you, but, but when I go, I'm going with Jesus. I don't know where else to go but to Jesus. Will I go away? No, I won't go away. I'm going with Jesus. It means that all we have to do is simply believe that God, what God has said concerning his son and receive him as our personal Savior and Lord and trust him. And I want you to know, don't delay. I'm going with Jesus. Matter of fact, Carlton Pearson picked up this song and he says, all the way, I'm going all the way. I'm going all the way. I'm going all the way. I'm going all the way with the Lord. Yes, I've made my choice. I'm going all the way. I've made my decision. I'm going all the way. No turning back. I'm going all the way. I'm drawing the line. I'm going all the way. No turning back. I'm going all the way. My mind's made up. 
I'm going all the way. I've seen the light. I'm going all the way. Ain't no turning back. I'm going all the way. And I want to encourage you tonight that you can make that kind of confession. I'm going all the way with the Lord. I'm going all the way with the Lord. I made my choice. It ain't that I just want him. It ain't that I just need him. But I've chosen him because he first chose me. Make your choice for Jesus and go all the way with him. Oh, man. First John chapter 5 verse 10 says this. He that believeth on the Son of God has the witness in himself. He that believeth not God has made him a liar because he, be, he believeth not the record that God gave of his son. And this is the record that God has given us eternal life. And the, this life is in the son. He that believeth has the son has life. And he that has not the Son has not life. These things I have written unto you, that you may believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, that you may believe in the name of God. Will you believe in him today? Will you believe in the Son of God, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior? You got to make your choice. You got to trust him. No turning back. You got to go all the way. As Christians, we are doing just that. We are walking in his assurance. We are seeking him as the answer to our problems, our fears, and our concerns. So I invite you today to come to Jesus, that you may go all the way to heaven with him. No turning back. Glory. Let us pray. Dear Father God, please repeat this prayer after me. I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus died for my sins and was buried, and that you raised him from the dead. I repent of my sins. Please forgive me of my sins and come into my heart. Thank you for choosing me, God. Now, Lord, I invite you to become the Lord of my life. I choose you to rule and to reign in my heart from this day forward. Please send your Holy Spirit to help me to do your will for the rest of my life. Because I want to go all the way with you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Facebook, be blessed. We're going to get off the Facebook line right now and we'll be on our conference call line. If you want to come and join us on the conference call where we will have prayer requests and praise reports, and even some more singing, you can call 619-639-4733. Uh, Again, 619-639-4733. I'm excited about next week. Next week, Friday night is Good Friday, and Pastor Paul and myself will be simulcasting together, and we're going to give a seven last words of Jesus Christ while he was on the cross. For those who, who join us in Sunday school, we ask you to come and join us on Sunday school and, and just be blessed with a Sunday school, Facebook Live, get them radio at 9 a.m. on Sunday morning. Facebook, be blessed and always be a blessing. Hallelujah.